Okay, I hope I got my uh, headphones connected properly and not using the mic on the phone. So, dark matter, dark energy. I I don't know anything about them, and I think many others do not also know anything about what is dark matter or dark energy. And I was thinking it's very hard to explain how I imagine things. Like for example light. Light is just ordinary energy between stars like Sun and Earth and like galaxies and other galaxies. And if you imagine the rays of light and the nearest star is four light years away. So when the beam of light is emitted from the nearest star, it takes more than four years to come here across the universe, across the space. So is the photon which arrives here, it has traveled here more than four years, but is there another photon behind this un first photon which hits our eyes? And how many photons are in between Earth and the nearest star? How many photons are? Is it a continuous ray of photons? Or have you physicists calculated how much energy is in that light which travels four years from the nearest star to Earth? What is the amount of energy between us and the nearest star or even all the stars in the universe? And because universe is not dark, it looks very dark, but it's full of light. Or maybe maybe it's maybe it's dark enough, but it the light actually what we see is only one glimpse of the light which comes here. I don't know. I'm maybe really stupid here and I don't understand anything, but I was thinking maybe there is no dark matter or no no dark energy. Maybe it's all is just energy, uh, ordinary energy and ordinary uh, matter. But we don't just see them and we, don't, we haven't thought about it that uh, those photons, there is four years of light coming to here all the time, millions of years, billions of years. And the space is not actually empty and we don't see the light. We only see when it hits our eyes or our uh, sensors. But actually the light is all there going and we don't see it because it's not coming towards us. But universe is full of light which we cannot really see because it's not hitting us. We only see the light which hits us. Maybe this is the dark energy. It's just light which we cannot really see because it's not coming towards us. I don't know. And the dark matter, I could maybe make a bet, like, I don't know, 10 year old, I'm very poor, I cannot bet for millions, but I, 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 I could bet that maybe, maybe also dark matter, it's just ordinary matter, which we cannot see. Like if you imagine a particle, like a supernova explodes, the huge amount of uh, star matter explodes. It doesn't crush into a black hole. Black holes is another matter. We probably won't see all the black holes in there. It's really hard to detect small black holes or even larger ones. You can only see how the light bends or if something is um, captured by the gravity of um, a black hole. I really don't think anyone can count all the black holes in the universe because they are so hard to detect. I don't know. You physicists should know better. But anyway, uh, yes, maybe, maybe, maybe also dark matter is just ordinary matter which we cannot see. And if you think about Einstein's uh, uh, general relativity and uh, even special relativity, I don't know, there is a very big difference there, but when you are a little particle and you travel very fast, 
actually it doesn't matter how small ma ma massive um, particle mass you are if you travel at the speed of light your mass is infinite so even the smallest mass particle in the universe can weigh as much as the whole universe together if you go very close to the speed of light so uh, maybe maybe the dark mass is just a mass ordinary mass but those little particles which we cannot detect or see they are just traveling so fast in the universe so that they cause the universe to be much heavier than it actually is i don't know and this is my hypothesis that uh, dark matter and dark energy they are just usual matter and energy which we just cannot see and we haven't thought maybe i haven't thought before that light it's not a, just one photon and then black no it's continuous ray of photons coming here and and those particles you know like many millions of supernovas have exploded and put um, particles traveling very high speeds maybe a fraction of a light speed traveling in the space empty space we cannot probably see those little particles or even little rocks which are traveling at uh, very high speeds because nothing is and when we go near big masses like suns and um, planets they will of course suck and they will also block and absorb the light so of course around suns or massive objects or even near galaxies we probably won't detect those free traveling uh, very fast particles or light because um, mass is sucking the particles in and and it's kind of vacuuming the surrounding it from those i don't know this is just my hypothesis someone who knows better physics can easily correct me if i have some kind of flaw in my thinking or in my speculation that ordinary matter could explain dark matter is it possible that ordinary matter in such a way that we just don't haven't thought or we don't detect and high speeds near speed of light maybe explains the massive difference in uh, gravity of the universe which we have <laughs> how do you calculate the mass of the universe because it, it's not only the stars, it's not only the planets. Well, is, it, is the space really very empty? There is only little hydrogen items there. Or could it be that there is some areas where there is more matter traveling there in the space? Maybe it's not so empty everywhere. But maybe it's empty like uh, in orbits of the like in our planet's orbits that's probably pretty empty because all the mass has collapsed to sun or earth but when we go to outer space is the outer space very empty there's a lot of radiation we know and are you sure that you have calculated the mass of the universe and the energy of the universe correctly that's what i'm asking so this is only my hypothesis.